four days ago when we were fucking doing this, jackass. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> Guess what this 4BT is for? Waiting on the uh, steam cleaner to get up the temperature before we start blasting all the schmoo off of it. It's time to get it on the stand. Jimmy's got this all. Yeah. Got to squat down to talk. So, I think I'm gonna go grab a beer and think about things for a minute. Yeah. Like Actually, was we'll, we'll let it dry out here. Yeah, let it dry and. So drink a beer, let it dry, and we'll catch you guys back in the barn. Meanwhile, Uncle Kyle's out back working on starting an IDI. We'll see you in four hours. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Would you like some crack in a can? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> the one guy's like, I would have left that IDI in there because, you know, you, know, you leave that manly IDI in there and leave that 4BT for some gig in a Jeep. I go, look, a manly IDI, so I can sit there and crank and crank and crank and crank and crank. It's not big enough. <laughs> It's not big enough. Crank and 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 crank. Meanwhile, with this old girl, I'm just going to turn the key and... And then, and then it starts, and then shit happens, and then you go. Here she is. Wask, wab, wab, Wasco, I Wasco. thought it was wa Wabasco. The Tabasco. Tabasco. We just hook a vacuum line to this right here, and we've got vacuum. And power steering off the accessory yeah. drive. And then this little guy plums the oil from the block, engine block. High pressure oil goes in there. And then somewhere on the back side of this gear, it spits it back into the crank case. So... This eliminates a lot of sin. He's been drinking since breakfast this morning. I don't even know what time it is, really. <laughs> Jimmy bought some new gaskets. So it looks like we're doing valve. We're going to check the valve train and stuff. Part number on the valve cover gaskets is the VS50396R. They're for a 12 valve. Intake should be ten thousandths, and then exhaust should go up just to the house. Oh, shit, forgot the dirt. Did was it dead? Is the door nail? Oh fuck yeah. IDI problems. We really need to just get the battery charged today, and then disconnect the fucking batteries until we. IDI should have been air start from day one. You know, just. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, you sh fucking piece of sh. We're gonna hooch those batteries. Um, our machinist over here. If you guys wonder what's going on in the background. That's really good. 
So, <laughs> back from the machine shop over there, the other end of the barn. Um, Kyle, <laughs> Kyle's got this one all done up. <laughs> that wasn't the other cover. So now we're gonna put some pro, some pro paint, pro series primer, and then we'll put some pro paint cover all over top the the pro paint valve cover, um, whatever. So turbo splash. I would say fuck that one. Just get the other one fixed. It's pretty bad when you have it on twenty thousands and it's still eleven sixty. So motor splash. Well, guys, it um, definitely was old oil in that thing. That stunk. That was a new definition of that stank. Yeah, it's no, it's been sitting for a while. Varnish oil. That's bad. I I would buy the cheapest diesel engine on you can get. Walmart's got a new brand that's cheap. Fucking just dump it in. Wash it. Just run it for like ten minutes and dump it. A little bit of that, I'm good there. That was the 20,000, so that was exhaust. Yeah, so okay. we got, we got 10,000s, 10,000s on the intake, and it still rocks back and forth. That was, yeah. So this probably has the equivalent of like 30 to 40,000 miles with that. Because you're supposed to adjust these every like 15, 20. Yeah. As you can see, the turbo's hung up, up upside, <laughs> upside down, backwards. So Kyle and Jimmy are trying to get these bolts out with without rounding or screwing anything up. Can't guarantee anything. I don't want to hear that. Put some heat on it. We have to put heat on some of those. Get some heat on it. You're late. We're not cutting. <laughs> you sure? Just get that little stub little red pump. hot and shook him out. We've got a expedition. It's an O2, like you guys <clears throat> have seen on the channel previous. Mm -hmm. We are adapting this motor to that transmission, the 4.6 transmission, right, Jimmy? Yep. James, James, can you please apply for the news? Like to do the news? Why? Like, because you are way better than fucking <clears throat> Bob Shaw. I know. So. <laughs> So Jimmy, we got that's a 70W. What what what? That's 70, 4R 70W. 4R 70W, and we are adapting this engine to that transmission. Yes, guys, it'll hold. A lot of guys I know are going to comment on this, saying, "Oh, well, guess what? I've talked to a transmission shop, and as soon as it pops in a couple of years, they can build that thing to withstand the torque and horsepower we're going to put into it." Um, transmission controller. We've got a couple we're looking at mm -hmm. to, to, you know, regulate the shifts because we're going from the, you know, the throttle positioning sensor crap to We're going to have to make an adapter. For we're going to have to make an adapter, which I have a picture, and we're going to show you that adapter right now. And if we can't make an adapter, we can buy the remote TPS sensor yep. kit from TCS. That's not a bad idea. Which is... Like, well, I think the transmission controller that I'm looking at comes with it because it has accessories in the in the cl the clauses. So get it? Fuck yeah! Sorry, go ahead. So Jimmy just showed you that picture, that adapter. That's actually on Alex's 12 valve Cummins engine. I took that picture a couple weekends ago. Um, you saw that picture what I'm talking about. Yeah. Man. So that one looks awesome, and it's really it's constructed really well. Somebody might ah. Somebody's gonna comment and be like, "Hey, you, you should have won the six PT." It will not fit, guys. I mean, it it can. I my first thing was I was like, you know, the six PT is cheaper. There's more of them out there. Um, I was gonna buy a truck and just donate it, <laughs> make it a donor truck into the expedition. 
We measured, guys. The hood on that Expedition and the F-150s, they dive off really fast, and it's a, it's a stubby front end. Um, you need 40 inches to be, you know, in the clear, 40, 41 inches. The Expedition does not provide 40, 41 inches. It wasn't comfortable for me to say, yeah, let's spend this kind of money. I've done my research online. I did not see anybody else with a 6BT in an Expedition or a, a Heritage F-150. Ah, so, see, we should have done it. <laughs> yeah. I did not want to cut. The way you would have to do it is cut the firewall and push it back into the cab. Or relocate the radiator somewhere. Yeah. Um, just, that's not going to And happen. then intercooling is not, it's out of the question. Yeah. So. I swear to God, the head sizes on these are different on everything. It's Fucking the rust. Cool. So, there's a reason. Fuel economy, I mean, you. these are great engines. If you can find them. Pitch. Oh, really? Yep. Seriously? Need to go smaller. It's now a 13 and a half. No, that was a half inch. It's like a half inch. And then you go to 12 and a quarter. That's it. Where's the hammer? Well, I've been using the thing. Jesus Christ. Well, and here's James. Using, and here's James using crappy tools the crappy way. Shock it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, tubers. Just put some heat on it. I'm gonna get cancer, aren't I? <laughs> well, I'm not burning aluminum. Okay. And so we? That's doesn't, fine. Doesn't diesel smoke give you cancer? Apparently someone said that. I mean, known to the state of California, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a fire. Boom! No, we only got a fire when I put heat to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and five minutes should be wearing safety glasses. Like everybody's like, oh my god, acetylene gas, you know, cigarette, fucking explosion stuff and things. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, no. Like if they're not mixed, it will not ignite. Right. I used to uh, cut steel I beams, and fuck, I smoked a lot. Fuck your fucking ass. What did you buy that came in the mail? That was... That's an air pump. That was the power steering. Vacuum pump, pump for brakes. power brakes. Okay. He's going to want to get the gasket kit because they come with a repair sleeve on this. This is already getting a little worn down. Oh, come on. This is fine. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> uh, this is still cleaner than my Colby Keaton. This is wanting to kind of come off a lot. Yeah, I'm not going to say Yeah, that's that noise that we were hearing. Yeah. A little bit, of, little bit of gear mesh. That's that's fine. And you're gonna get a little bit of noise. This is the oil pump. So if you had to replace the oil pump, you just pull the cover off, and it's four bolts. And if you put a six BT oil pump in it and a six BT cooler, you get more oil flow and more cooling. Nice. So that's a thing if an oil pump is ever needed.